okay guys welcome back to this jungle tutorial series on my channel now in the last video we talked about specifying Django static files basically in this video what we're going to be doing is introducing you guys to models in Django now models we can specify models as let's say tables in the database let me use an image to explain this further to you guys now let's say we have this image a model in Django will have different objects and those objects each are tables in a database let's say a model called profile so a user profile should have name it will have an object name and in the database that's a table so this area will be for name let's say age then let's say bio and any other thing that's basically what models are for they are for specifying databases in Django we are going to get to that in a bit. First of all, let's go into our index.html file and let's remove this. Let's just save that and refresh. Now, let's say we want to pass some dynamic data. There's difference between static files, static data, and dynamic data. Static data are, let's say, data that are just there. Let me put it like this. Let's say you will go to facebook.com and then your news feed is not the news feed I'll see. You'll see your news feed, not mine. That data is dynamic. That's because it's different for each user. So a data that is static, that is not dynamic, is let's say the title of that page, like github.com. The github title is there, is a static data. But when we're talking about, let's say, my projects on github, each user have different projects. Those are dynamic data. And those are basically databases. I hope you guys get that. Now, in this video, I want to pass some dynamic data into this index.html file. So I can do something like this. When I enter the views of py file, I can basically just pass in some dynamic data, like okay, like let's let's, let's say name. Let's say Tommy. Let's give another name. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's say age. Let's say 54. And then let's give a let's say bio. And let's say the bio is I love Python. Okay, now we have this. We can pass this into the index or html file but basically as you can see this is still static we're actually passing dynamic data from the views of py file but obviously it's the same for everybody that opens it so now we want to use database that's where django models comes in as i explained earlier django models have databases so to do this we can use object oriented programming for you guys to know django better you need to have a basic knowledge on object-oriented programming so as I said each object is a table in the database first of all let me come to the views of py file and then remove all this this was just to show you guys okay so we are going to go to the models.py file there's a file in each app you create on Django called models.py now in this file we can create databases what we need to do is to type class and let's say the name of this database is profile which takes all the details of a user on your site we have to give it an id let something like this but we don't want to give it an id because each database row has an automatic id given to it the first one will, be, will have one second one two and so on but let's give it a name and that name is obviously a string let's say h h h to be an integer let's give it another one let's say bio then the bio should be a string now we have this model created we can use this model in our views of py file for us to do this we need to import that model into this file we say from dot models import profile now you see it automatically sees that model we created 
let's just save this and now we can easily integrate each field in this model in our views of two alpha let's scroll up to the index function and for us to do this all we just need to do is to call that profile model we can do this by saying let's say profile one let's say this profile one belongs to the first user equals to profile now let's start specifying each object in that class for us to do this we can say profile one dot name is equals to Tommy and we can say prof1 pro1 dot I think age is there is equals to 54 let's give it the last one pro1 dot bio is equals to I love Python Now basically, we each we are taking all the objects in this class, and then we're implementing them in this views of two Wi-Fi. Now we can easily send all this to the index.html file. To do this, we just say profile something like this: profile one is equals to sorry. Now, when we save this, if we come into our index.html file, we just basically just print, let's give it an h1 tag first. If we just print profile one, pro one, it's not going to give us all the details we specify. It's just going to give us that EC. It gives us that my app.models.profile object at this unique figure. It's just telling us that, okay, yes. There is truly a model called profile. But for us to get this model, what we need to do, we can say pro1.name. This will print in that name in which we in which we specified in the views of py told me. We can also print, let's say, let's copy and paste this. Let's say pro1.h. And then let's print the last one, pro1.bio. Let's give it a br and a br. And when we refresh this, we see what we have. Told me 54, I love Python. That's basically how to integrate models.py file into your views, then into your HTML file. But now this basically is still not dynamic. That's because anybody that goes to this page will still see Tommy 54, I love Python. Now, for us to make this dynamic, we are going to need to integrate database in which each user has its own specific details, which can be used to define a user. That means when a user comes here, it shouldn't see Tommy, it should see his or her name, it should see his or her age, and it should see his or her value. Now, in the next video, we are going to start on creating databases in Django. Stick around, you're going to love it. If you love this video, please don't forget to smash the like button, please subscribe, and click on the bell notification button so you get notified when I drop new videos. And if you have any question at all, please don't hesitate to drop it down in the comment. I'll be sure to answer your questions. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.